Welcome to Aurora Chemistry for everyone. We are here to discuss the hybridization of cobalt ion in COF63- hexafluorocobaltate 3 ion. To understand the hybridization, first let us understand the strength of the ligands present in the complex ion. To know the strength of the ligand, let us see a beautiful mnemonic. I brought a super cool sunscreen from Oxford company. However, Nick, my educated nephew, emptied the cream completely. Here I stands for iodide ion, broad for bromide ion, super for theocyanate, cool for chloride ion, sunscreen for sulphide ion, from for fluoride ion, oxford for OH- company for oxalate, however for H2O, nick for isothiocyanate, nephew for my educator for EDTA, nephew for NH3, emptied for EN, cream for cyanide ion, completely for carbonyl ligand. If you look at the series, here that fluoride ion is a weak ligand so because of the presence of the weak ligand there is no pairing take place in this complex cobalt is in 3 plus ion so let us write that electronic configuration to understand that bonding as well as the hybridization thoroughly argon 3d6 now let us draw that box diagram three D orbital, then four S, four P, then four D orbitals. Three D orbital. There are six electron. One, two, three, four, five, and the sixth electron is pairing with the first one. Here the ligand is uh, fluoride ion. So under the influence of the fluoride ion, pairing does not take place. So because of that, the fluoride ion give a set of pair of electrons for bonding in 4s and 4p and 4d orbitals. So because of that, the hybridization is sp3d2 hybridization. So this complex is outer orbital complex because that outer orbital 4d orbital involved in these reactions so for this sp3d2 hybridized orbitals get set of electrons from fluoride ion there are six fluoride ions so they give that six pair of electrons for bonding all these electrons are from fluoride ion so hybridization is sp3d2 hybridization and the geometry is octahedral geometry let us see the mnemonic once again. I brought super cool sunscreen from Oxford company. However, Nick, my educated nephew, emptied the creep completely. Thanks for watching.